Okay, here we are with the Landall PT40 Precision Telehandler set up with a rigging boom on that. What I'll do is I'll zoom in and show you the versatility. Multiple hook positions here, which really allows you to configure this any way you want for any type of equipment that you're rigging and moving. Not only does the boom extend over here, but it also has a, a secondary which allows you to crank that in and out for extra precision. That also can be locked in place with a pin. So as we said before, this is set up with the rigging mast on it. It can be easily switched over the forks, which we will show in a minute. Uh, this machine will extend to 20 feet with this rigging boom on and will lift to 20 feet. As it stands right now with a two foot load center has a 40,000 pound capacity. This machine will run on liquid propane and or gasoline. So again, just providing a little bit more versatility on the fuels that you'd like to use with it. As we come a little bit closer, we'll open up under the seat. And that is where the remote control is stored. Now this can either be operated with batteries or a direct line which tethers right into here. It is Bluetooth and there's a switch on the dash which allows you to go back and forth from operating in the seated position or walking with the remote control. All controls for the mast, the boom, and the forks are in a single joystick which we will demonstrate as we operate the machine here shortly providing smooth operation in all directions while maintaining a level that you so desire when moving a piece of equipment. I'll just kind of walk around the back of the vehicle here. The counterweights are removable as they are set in place. And again here is your telescoping mast. Easy access to the engine compartment. Which provides for service and maintenance, easy accessibility. Easy accessibility to your filters, your air filters, and all your hydraulic hosing. A very simple yet robust rigging machine. Okay, now we are displaying the PT40 with the forks on, and we're going to demonstrate how it has independent fork positionings. Kyle, if you would. Very smooth, it operates on a spline, on a screw spline, so precision fork placement is very easily attained and also very smooth and they both operate independently okay now we've set the forks at a desired height as we extend the boom you'll notice that the forks will maintain that height that you set which is critical for rigging when you're moving any type of machinery that you want to maintain a certain level height of and or a palletized load. And you'll notice as it extends, those forks will maintain that height off the ground. Very smooth, no jerky motions. Come in and take a look at the joystick controls. And as you notice here, you are able to do multiple functions at the same time 
IE in and out and up and down. Uh, you're able to tilt the forks. So you're able to do multiple tasks all at the same motion on a single joystick control. Okay, we're now tilting the carriage. It does have a great deal of tilt to it. demonstrate right now just how much tilt we have in that So we're demonstrating with this machine how smooth it is, how easy it is to control, and how to keep your loads level and move them around smoothly. We're comparing the lengths of the two machines, the Versa Lift 2535 and the Landall PT40 Precision Telehandler. So as you can see, we're lined up exact right now, and the machines are very similar in length. The PT40 in its current configuration, I would say, is 10 to 12 inches longer. The, the width of the Landall versus the Versa Lift. We're now currently looking at the Versa Lift. And then we're looking at the Landall. And when you refer to the spec sheets, I believe the Landall PT40 is 10 to 12 inches wider. Now we're going to extend the counterweight on the Versa lift to get it to its full capacity. As you can tell, when it's extended all the way to give it its 35,000 pound capacity, it is quite a bit longer than the Landall PT40. We'll walk around the side here and show you from a side angle. Approximately 30 to 32 inches, maybe three feet longer than the Landall. finish up this walk around with one more 
front picture with the two machines side by side.